Hello, Ibrahim. Hello. First of all, congratulations on your recent award with the, as Principal Prince Klaus Laureate. How does that feel? Oh, well, uh, it feels very good for this recognition because um, when I started uh, building this institution uh, five years ago, I wasn't actually thinking about all of this. I was just thinking about creating a space that could allow for uh, art to flourish within the community. So I'm really glad that at least people recognize this beyond uh, this space. Ibrahim Mahama is awarded for his exceptional artworks and for his social activism, raising awareness and urging us to take responsibility for improving the lives of others. Tell us about the space you, you have there in Tamale. Uh, so uh, we have actually three spaces at the moment. So the first space, which is SCCA Tamale. SCCA literally stands for Savannah Center for Contemporary Arts. Um, it started in 2014 when I started earning money professionally as an artist. So in 2019, we opened the first exhibition there, which was a retrospective of an 80-year-old Ghanaian artist. Uh, and the second space is a Red Clay, which is literally my studio, but it's an extension of SCCA, which also allows for the exhibitions to be extended here. We have spaces for archives, we have spaces for classrooms, we even have a parliament, which I designed, and a couple of other spaces. So in what ways are you engaging the community? The exhibitions that we produce, uh, we, we produce a lot of workshops and programs around them. So for instance, at uh, SCCA, we invite schools through the education department to come for workshops. Um, at Red Clay, uh, we recently did a series of uh, workshops which actually involved uh, inviting uh, these women from the upper northern part of Ghana who are known for painting and making these murals on buildings. So they came and worked with the artists whom we're doing the retrospective on to do this mural around the institution and later also we work with uh, local audiences, working with them on how to produce pigments out of local materials. So we engage the community as much as we can in many different ways. Now, you mentioned earlier that the first time you made money as an artist. So how was it that you made money as an artist the first time? Well, it was, um, it was a show which was at the Saatchi Gallery in London and um, the institution was acquiring the piece. So um, when the piece was acquired, the money which I, I got from the piece was actually the money that I used as seed money to invest in building the first part of the institution. So that was in 2014. What was that piece? Uh, it was one of the early Jutsak installations. So it was this uh, piece which actually wrapped an entire room and it was literally made up of these uh, cocoa sacks which are used to transport cocoa and later on used to transport charcoal. So I mostly collect the material when they are uh, very much used and like torn and tattered. So I exchange the old bags with the new bags and with the old bags I sew them together with a, a network of collaborators and then we go around the city and other, the country and we cover these monumental spaces with them. So in London, it was actually covering like the walls of an interior spot, part of a gallery. Back to the Prince Klaus Award real quick. Um, they mentioned that, you know, in general, art and culture is special because it speaks truth. What kind of truth are you saying in these pieces using sacks and, you know, stuff that normally people do not view as beautiful? <laughs> In my work, I address the contradiction of capital and also how labor is constantly being exploited. And the jute sacks are used in carrying like uh, commodities like cocoa across, like from Africa to the rest of the world, which generates a lot of money. At the end of the day, a lot of that money is used then now to fund all kinds of programs. So I was very much interested in somehow using the leftover of the material as a point to be able to make art 
that somehow allows us to be able to re-examine the material in, sense, in terms of its beauty and its ugliness. And the revenue that is generated out of it, because once the material goes into the realm of art, the value changes. So then the value that it translates into, which becomes like a new form of money, is what I then now use in building institutions like this, which also plays a different role within the society, which allows maybe children to be able to have access to art in a different way that probably I didn't have as a child growing up. Ibrahim, thank you very much and congratulations once again for your award and uh, best of luck in the future. Thank you.